killer combos, aka two or more products that work together to make awesome styles. But when those products are then paired with other products that work really well, they have the potential to make something truly unique. And in this segment, I make it my goal to hunt those products down. This is Killer Combos. What is happening guys? Mike here, welcome back to the channel. Man, it's been forever since we've had a fresh Killer Combos video here on the channel. It's been like, what, a year? It has been far too long, so I thought it was high time to get one made up and pushed out for all you guys to check out. Also, since we've got a lot of new folks joining us here on the channel since the last Killer Combos video was posted, I thought that I would go through real quick what this segment does and what it's all about. As I said a second ago, this segment is here to hunt down products that work really well together. What I personally like about this segment too is I give you guys the chance to share your own favorite combos by sending in footage and demoing your combo yourself. Today we are going to be looking at two different styling products, each one having great attributes on their own and serious potential when brought together. I am super pumped for this combo. Here we go. A crafted clay and a versatile cream. One meant for pliability and the other for stable styling. A while back I was told by a viewer that these two when used as a pre and post styler worked very well together and was worthy of the title Killer Combo. Now I can tell you these products do work awesome together, but the question then becomes why do they work well together? The answer lies within each product and their specific functions. The Ocean Clay by Shavu is a firm hold and natural finish clay. Its easy application, stable hold, and flexible styling options make it the ideal post styler for this combination. Chapter by Jordan O'Brien and Carlos Roberto on the other hand is the more flexible of the two products. Its lightweight presence in the hair and pliable hold make it a great choice for both pre and post styling. Chapter is truly a product that can be used in both pre and post styling and when used correctly, which it's not hard to do, just don't use the tiniest amount possible, it can produce great styles. The same with Ocean Clay. On its own, it can produce great high volume styles and for me, this works a lot better than Claymation. And before you start typing your comment asking me to compare this to Cavalier, I already answered this question in my review of Ocean Clay, so you should check that out for details. But the quick answer is Cavalier for me works a little better by itself. It would also work really good in a combination with Chapter, but I wanted to use something with with slightly less hold, so that's why I chose Ocean Clay. Let's put this combo into action. I'm going to start off with freshly cleaned hair and the only things going in it are what I'm going to show you on camera. I'm going to take just a little bit of chapter here, not a whole lot because we don't want it overpowering the hairstyle. After it's all spread evenly throughout the hair, it's time to hit it with the blow dryer. I'm not doing much of a specific drying technique here, I'm just going to let the blow dryer and the product do all the work and just move the heat all over my head. And no, I'm not worried about using heat here and really you shouldn't either. Did you know actually there was a study done? that shows that letting your hair air dry is actually worse for it than using a blow dryer about 15 centimeters away from your head and using constant motion. Getting back to the action here, we are all done blow drying and we're ready to take a look at what we have here. You know, for a product that has no hold or usable functions, it's sure got a lot of things looking pretty locked in. I think it's time now to take this style the full hundred and throw in a little ocean clay. I really don't want to overpower things with the clay and weigh it all down, so I'm going to be using just a small amount of clay here. A good rule I follow in a situation like this is to work in small amounts. That way you can add as much as needed without accidentally adding too much. As far as styling with this combo goes, you have a lot of options. You can actually use a comb and clean it up a little if you want, as both products remain slick, so it actually encourages really easy combing and styling. You can also have the option to mess it back up by just running your fingers through it a little. This combo combo is very easy to work with and it will mold to whatever you decide to do with it.
Man, I tell you what, I've been enjoying the crap out of this combo recently, but I can't for the life of me remember the subscriber that recommended it. It was on a live video I held a while back, and if you're watching, I really appreciate you recommending this combo, and it was definitely worth looking into. If any of you already have these products or you're thinking about picking them up, I highly recommend you look into this combo as well. If you are interested in picking any of these up to help you guys out, I do have some discount codes that I will throw in the description for you guys to check out if you're interested. If you have a killer combo you want to submit for a future episode, feel free to comment on this video or hit me up on any of my social media accounts. If you have a good combo, you could see it here on the channel in a future video, or you could even join me here on the channel and demo it yourself. If you haven't yet, remember to hit that subscribe button for me and make sure you got your notifications turned on so you can be alerted first when I upload a new video. But that is it for today. I want to thank you guys so much for stopping by the channel today. I'll be back with you guys again real soon soon. Take it easy. I'll see you next time.